Uh, Cape Cod was the second area in the United States. Cape Hatteras was the first. There's 12 areas um, in all of the United States that are a part of the National Seashore. So this is a map of Cape Cod. Everything in green mm -hmm. is the National Seashore. That's 44,000 acres of land. So here in Provincetown, we have 4,000 acres, which make up about 75% of Provincetown. So when you're riding on the bike trail, that's National Seashore. Okay. Out here is all National Seashore. So again, that was in 1961. But prior to 1983, the government still allowed everybody to come out here. Um, this was a huge parking lot here. If people didn't have um, a four-wheel drive or a dune buggy, they would park here and they would just run or walk through the dunes. A big thing to do, a uh, fun thing for the kids or even adults, this dune here was much bigger and they would uh, climb up the dune, run up the dune, and slide down in cardboard boxes, pieces of cardboard, um, cafeteria trays, and whatnot. But because of all the destruction that was being done, they had dune buggy clubs coming out here. As I said, four-wheel drive vehicles driving all over the place. There was no designated trail back then. Um, because of the erosion and the destruction that was being done, they stopped, yes, in 1983. Only the dune tour companies and the dune dwellers are allowed to drive out here now. Yes, and we'll talk about that when we start seeing the dune shacks. So every year, I'm sure the company um, gets their permit. There's another dune tour company. Um, she's been doing it for about three years. And there's been other dune tour companies throughout the years. Just need to get out and check the tire pressure. Um, we did, we put the tires down to about 11 pounds, but with the heat and the rotation of the tires on the asphalt, the air pressure increases. So I very likely have to take a little bit more air out. 